Thank you and good afternoon. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report. Today's date is Thursday, March 23rd, 2023. This is Sam Vaughn. We start off with college basketball. We're going to first start with the local team, Kansas State, who plays the first game. Kansas State will, for the third seed, Kansas State Wildcats will play for the, for the first seed 16. Could be the game of the night. Cats are looking like it's for sure going to be Jerome Tang for the, and he will play one of the best coaches ever, Tom Izzo. He looks for his eighth Final Four. Obviously, they both of their games this weekend they would have to win in order to go to the Final Four. And the Cats look for their first appearance since 1964 in the Final Four. They made the Elite Eight just recently in 2017. Bruce Harper was the head coach back then. Now let's look deeper into the game. Players to watch out for is Keon Johnson and Marquise Noel, who has been determined in the NCAA tournament. He is from New York, where the game is played in Madison Square Garden. Here's more from Noel after John Cal apologized to him for calling him a little kid. That regarding that apology, here is Noel. Congratulated him on, you know, his career and what he's done, you know, at Kentucky and told him that, you know, I'd be happy to see him at the Hall of Fame one day. And um, he said, yeah, you'll get there, too, uh, because your passion, your hard work um, will get you there. And he wanted to stand at, you know, my press press conference when I do get inducted. So it was just a cool exchange. I mean, it was a cool exchange. I mean, shout out to Coach Cal for reaching out to me. That was that was really big. Michigan State key players to watch out for Tyson Walker, who averages 15 points a game. 15 points a game. The Cats also want to watch out for Joe Fortenberg. Now the Spartans are favored by, based on Tomazzo's success, favored by one and a half. 78-73 is my final tip of the five th TBS. The team that the Jayhawks should be playing, or the teams that Jayhawks could be playing are the UConn. Instead, Arkansas will play them. Adam Sagno will be a key player for him. He averages 17 point game, points a game for UConn. Ricky Council leads the Razorbacks with 16. Anthony Black is also a key player. Aaron Musselman is a great coach. Season discussing, season just concluding COVID. He has made two Elite Eights and has a shot to get to his third. It would be the first Final Four since 1994-1995. The Razorbacks, who were coached under Norm Richardson. Tonight's game is at 6:15. Players to watch out for. For the Huskies, Anthony Sigo averages 17.3 points a game. And also... Jordan Hawks is averaging 14.7 points a game. Sinego averages 7.5 points rebounds. UConn and Arkansas are set to tip off at 8. UConn, Utah and Ar UConn are set to sit at tip at 6.15. It'll be the Tennessee Volunteers in Florida Atlantic. Nobody expected Florida Atlantic to be as far, and I'm not sure, but... Many people didn't. Ziegler, Josh Jordan, James, Nashim O. Bisico, John Davis averages 13.9 points a game, and the fellow guard, Anthony Aja Morton, averages 13.1 points a game. For the Owls, the leading scorer is Vitals Golden. He is in 10.4 point per game. Give me Tennessee 66 60. They've shot they've shot to go to the lead eight just under two weeks ago when the Missouri Tigers beat them and have beat them twice this year. 
They did. The Vols are fair by five. Game time is at eight o'clock. Give me Tennessee 66-60. Tip for the Tennessee uh, Florida Atlantic game is at eight o'clock. And for the 845 game, CBS Gonzaga number three seed will Gonzaga number three seed will play. UCLA is a two seed. They went to the Final Four last year but would look for their first national championships in 1995 when they beat Arkansas. If UCLA wins, it may play for the Arkansas Razorbacks. I've got UCLA in my national championship. They could also play Florida Atlantic. For Gonzaga, the, world, the most player to watch out is Drew Timmy. Joe, Julian, Turner, Strahl. Another player to watch out for, Drew Timmy averages over 20 points a game. Definitely Timmy is a player to watch out for. Tyler Campbell is an undisputed leader of the backcourt. He averages 13 points a game for the Bruins. Jam Jamie Jaquaz, UCLA leader at the wing, he averages 17.5 points a game. UCLA is favored by one and a half. Gonzaga has never won a national championship. It's about time for Mark Few to win one. They've went to the national championship a few years back. Give me UCLA by 383-80. But maybe some success will come in the tournament towards Mark Few's way. We'll give you more preview on Friday about these games. But San Diego, the five seed, will play Alabama. The number one seeded tip is at 530. The number one seeded Houston will play Miami in Kansas City Sprint Center, 5:30 TBS tomorrow night. The number 15 seeded, who beat the Missouri Tigers, Pepperdine will play Creighton. The little schools. Game time is at eight. Xavier, number three seed versus number two seed, Texas will play in Kansas City, 8:45. Now coaches moving again. Sources say Notre Dame hires Penn State coach Micah Shibwe. Kim English, former Missouri Tiger great, hired to Providence. Here's more on Kim English back in his playing day in 2012 after the Tigers won a Big 12 championship. This game is over. Missouri will win the Big 12 championship. Congratulations to the Tigers. Well, Kim, you were just named the most outstanding player of the tournament. How do you describe the way you have put a finish on your senior season, although there's still more to play? Uh, well, definitely more to play, but uh, just a 100% testament to my coaches and teammates. Having faith in me, Coach Hayes and his staff, Coach Fuller, Coach Nets, Coach, you do a great job all week of trying to find efficiencies in teams' defenses, and we did a really good job exploiting them these past three days in our city of Kansas City. Nobody else is our city. Well, you had an emotional little speech right before this game started to your teammates that really fired them up. What would you say to them? Opportunity always arises. Everybody on this planet has an opportunity at some point in time. It's just about seizing that moment. And this was a tremendous opportunity. We won two out of our four Big 12 tournament championships in our careers. And uh, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm going to put you on the spot, though. I know you analyze basketball more than any other player. What seed do you deserve in the NCAA tournament? Joe Lenardi, give us a one, man. 30 and 4. Finished the season off right. Five straight wins, I think. Come on, Joe Lenardi. No non conference losses. Come on, Joe. Now on to the NFL. Jaguars sign former Brown. D. Ernest Johnson to a one-year contract. Former Chief McCall Hardman is signed to a one-year deal with the Jets worth $6.5 million. And you see the Jets, though, I think um, Elijah Moore is a better player, but the, that's all they care about is they're getting Aaron Rodgers, the Jets. So Jets trading Elijah Moore for a third-round pick to the Browns for a second round pick to the Jets. I think I like the Chiefs signing DJ 
Chark is a wide receiver. Last year, he had 500 yards. I think he'd be a good fit in Kansas City. I'm not so sure about Elder Beckham Jr. and DeAndre Hopkins. Not because they aren't good, but because how good are they as teammates, you don't know. Also, local baseball college, Mizzou, in Kansas. The Tigers started off with a 3 0 lead. The Jayhawks came back to tie it at 3 3. Top of the ninth, the Tigers score 5 in the ninth. The Tigers win 8 3 in college baseball. This is Sam Vaughn for Sam Sports Report.